New at five, a father outraged tonight after Franklin police arrested his nine-year-old son at school. The boy's father caught the arrest on video and then shared it with us here at Wish TV. It happened yesterday afternoon at Needham Elementary. 24-hour news hates Elizabeth Choi joins us now. And Elizabeth, what have you learned about all of this? Well, Dave, according to the boy's family, the child has autism, but police say they were just following protocol. Officers tell me the boy had been fighting with another student, and that's when another teacher tried to break it up. Authorities say the boy then hit that teacher and one other teacher. Here's the video that the student's father, Ronnie Shepard, captured. He was at the school as police handcuffed his son. You can hear Shepard tell police that he was recording and that they'd be hearing from his attorney as his son cries and tells his dad bye and that he loves him. Police then escort the boy down the hall and to a police cruiser. Police didn't want to go on camera, but on Facebook said in part, officers involved on this call the follow both department and juvenile arrest protocol. The Franklin Police Department stands behind these officers and the decisions that were made on this day. Franklin schools also didn't want to go on camera, but their superintendent issued a statement that read in part, at times things happen that disrupt the learning environment. And when this occurs, the principal has a responsibility to ensure that the learning environment returns to the expected normal. He or she can bring in outside resources such as law enforcement, social services, and others in order to assist in this restoration. And that comes with the superintendent, Dr. David Clendening. We also spoke to a behavioral expert and asked her if the school and police response was appropriate. Here's what she had to say. I'm not in law enforcement and I wasn't at the situation to know. Um, however, there are other methods that could be used to assist a child that may have special needs. Examples of that could include extra breaks, therapy, a mentor, or pull the child out of class. According to police, the boy faces charges of criminal mischief and battery on the two teachers and one student. His father did not want to go on camera at this time. Live in the newsroom, Elizabeth Choi, 24-hour News 8.